In this problem, we have a comet that moves in an elliptical orbit around the sun. This orbit has an eccentricity of 0 0.880, so E will be equal to 0 0.880, and this comet has a speed of 3.72 kilometers a second, so it'll be V, 3.72 kilometers per second, when it's at its furthest point away from the sun. Well, I'll draw a diagram. It's an elliptical orbit, so it'll look like this. The sun will be here, and the comet at its furthest point will be here. Now, this point here is what's known as the apocenter. So I'll be labeling this with A, and I'll just say it's moving in this direction up here. So this will be the VA for V apocenter. And we need to find the speed of the comet when it says closest point to the sun, which will be here. And this will be the pericenter. So it'll be VP. And it told us VA. Now, one thing to note about this ellipse here is that this distance from the pericenter to the apocenter is 2a, and we have equations we can use. The equations look like this. ra is equal to a times 1 plus e, and rp is equal to a times 1 minus e. And if you notice, as this moves around here, around this orbit, it, there's not going to be any external torque, which means that angular momentum will be conserved. So angular momentum before will be equal to angular momentum after. Angular momentum is equal to MVR, where this will be before, and I'll just say that before is when the comet is at the apocenter. So it'll be M times VA, RA. This will be equal to the final angular momentum, which I'll say is at the pericenter, which will be MVP, RP. The mass will cancel, and we'll get that VA, RA, is equal to VP, RP. And we're solving for VP, so I'll get that on its own side. VP will be equal to VA times RA over RP. Now we can go over here and plug in this RA and RP in for here, and we'll get that VP is equal to VA times, it'll be A times 1 plus E over A times 1 minus E. These A's will cancel, and we'll get that VP is equal to VA times 1 plus E over 1 minus E. So VP, when I plug in numbers, will be equal to 3.72 times 1 plus 0 0.880 over 1 minus 0 0.880, and we'll get that VP is equal to 58.28 kilometers per second. And that is your final answer. Thank you for watching.